Hey, it's Brickzar, and we're going to look at a LEGO City set today. And we got a LEGO City set, one of our new ones. It's set 60,003. Fire emergency. And yes, there is a fire in the LEGO City again. But uh, we'll look at this set a little closer and tell you what I think about it. Yet another fire set in the LEGO City theme. Our shout out for this video goes to Lego Mox and Stuff. I'll put a link to Lego Mox and Stuff uh, channel in the description below. And the reason for the shout out is because he actually posted a comment on one of my videos before the video was actually done posting to the internet. I don't know how he did it. It was amazing to me. But shout out to him. Alright, this set is for ages 5 to 12, so it's a relatively simple build. 300 pieces. You build the fire truck this abandoned building and you get three figures so um, oh, you also get two instruction manuals but we'll look at the figures first okay first up is one of our firemen with the smirk on his face now these firemen have excellent details on their torso their legs I love the uh, the color of the the dark red of the the helmet he's got a safety harness and all that this Many figures are just highly detailed. You get a better look at his head. Looks like he's been in some accidents working on the job there. He's got a mark on his face. He's the tough guy. Of the fireman. All right, here's our next fireman with the fire extinguisher. This is the one that's sent into the building. He's got his his hose and air tanks. I like the way they made that. He's sweating. He's got all that hot on, hot stuff on when he's going in there to put the fire out, out to protect him. He's got a safety visor, pretty much the same torso and legs as the other one. All right, and here's our last one. This is a hot chick. Yes, it's a fire woman, and she's got lipstick because everybody knows that when you're getting ready to put out a fire. You can't have too much lipstick. Very important. So I'm glad she's prepared for the job. Got plenty of mascara too. Uh, she wants to look pretty as she's putting out the fire. And I'm sure that's what all um, fire women do. As soon as they hear the alarm go off, they get out of the bed if it's the middle of their sleeping shift and um, they put on their lipstick and mascara and head out there and put the fire out. Here's the fire truck, and it's got this um, hose that comes out the side. That's supposed to be water coming out. And you get an extra hose, which is a good thing, because the one that was originally put on this, somehow we broke it. Let's see if I can show you this. Hopefully you can see that the um, the uh, nozzle here is cracked. I don't know if it got pulled too hard or what, but the, when these things are new, the hose is already kind of glued in there and somehow it got cracked. Uh, it kind of broke kind of easy, so that's a little disappointing, but they do give you two of them. So I put the extra one on the truck. So there the string is attached to that no that nozzle. And you roll it up, which is kind of hard to do. I don't know what they were, why they didn't give you some kind of um, better pulley system. I think that's why it got broke. I think one of my assistants pulled on it, and as you pull, this is it is hard to move. You got to move it with your finger. It's very hard to do. It just doesn't spin good. So if you yeah, you don't want to pull it like this or it'll, it'll it'll break. I think that's how it broke. But the attachment is supposed to go there. And then when they go up on the ladder, they can use the fire hose. So the, the, the ladder is neat. I like the ladder. It's a lot better than what we had when I was a kid. It, it raises up and it's kind of like on air hydraulics. That's pretty neat. And then you can raise it. Raise it up. So that's that's good. 
and then we'll look at the uh, stickers on it. That one's already coming off. That's why I hate stickers. Yeah. Look at that. You're seeing some of the things that aggravate me here. <clears throat> stickers coming off. Got their saw for cutting people out of cars there. Another sticker on the front. Another sticker there. And of course you can take the roof off easily and set one of your... I don't want to put the woman in there. I'll put the, the man in there. So he's in there. Let's put the roof back on. Put it down. So that's the, the fire truck. Like I say, I'm a little disappointed in the um, the stickers. We probably didn't apply them that good anyway. But um, nice, nice ladder. I like the, the air hydraulics there. Uh, a little disappointed that the hose can break easy if you pull on it, and this should have some kind of uh, method of winding it up a lot easier. I, I hate those type of types of pulleys. All right, so now let's look at the building. All right, here's the building that they're coming to put out the fire. It looks like an abandoned building, or it could be one of those um, buildings they set up for uh, practicing putting out fires. I do like the green trash can. I'm always happy when I can get a green trash can instead of a gray one. And you got the flames coming out the top. Part of the roof's already burned off, so you see it charred there. It's getting ready to take the rest of the building down. But when they come, with their fire truck and they put the hose on it the fire goes out <laughs> so, um, so when you're playing you can pretend like they sprayed the, the fire and it went out by just turning that lever that's kind of lame when you look at it from the back you can also put one of your flames in the trash can like they did on the the box and show a fire in here but we got the broom in there that's all there is to it. It's got the one lamp post on the side. It's got the it's boarded up. It's got the boards across the window. So it's really not that great. Uh, but I guess they've given you some playability by being able to pretend like you're putting the fire out there. So there you have it. The fire emergency is set six sixty thousand and three, three hundred pieces. Uh, overall, I'm a little disappointed with this set. I mean, the vehicle is decent. I like the hydraulics on it. I love the ladder. Don't like the winch. Don't like the nozzle and hose. And I don't like the stickers. The building is okay. Um, it's neat getting the big flames in addition to the regular size flames. And overall, it would be okay. But this set was, I think it was $40 retail. Let me go check on that. Yeah, that's right. It's the ever the retail is thirty nine ninety nine, which is um, way overpriced for this set. I got it on clearance. I think when I bought it, it was nineteen ninety nine, and I thought that was a, a mistake. I thought that maybe should have been the actual price, maybe twenty four ninety nine, maybe even twenty nine ninety nine, but not thirty nine ninety nine. It's just uh, such a small set um, for that price, and you only get three minifigures. So, if I was going to pay $40, I'd get one of the superhero sets instead of this. So, overall, then, it's, uh, this is a disappointment for me, personally, this set. I'm not happy with this set. Uh, I do like the figures. The truck's okay. But it's not a good set for the value, uh, for the price that you pay for it. Anyway, that's my review of the Fire Emergency set. Thanks for watching. Please tell me what you think, and leave your comments below. This is Brickzard.